Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. For the most part, making a fortune necessitates some effort and commitment. For a select few though, being wealthy was as simple as being in the right place at the right time. Here are 5 people who got rich by accident. Number 5. Declaration of Independence After purchasing a modest painting of a country landscape at a garage sale in Adamstown, Pennsylvania, an anonymous guy had the surprise of his life. When he took the painting out of its broken frame, he discovered what seemed to be a fantastically preserved copy of the Declaration of Independence lying under the canvas of his $4 purchase. The paper was shown to specialists at an auction company who confirmed its authenticity. This paper, printed by John Dunlap on July 4, 1776, was one of 24 original copies sent to each province. The document was sold for a stunning $2,420,000 to the president of a fine arts investment organization. Number 4. Kevin Lewis Saturday was a terrific night to be Kevin Lewis, according to the Cincinnati Enquirer. In August 2013, the Horseshoe Casino in Cincinnati was running a summer promotion when a random customer's name was drawn for a $1 million prize. Kevin Lewis, a happy casino patron, walked down to collect his winnings. Unfortunately, when casino staff checked his identification, they immediately noticed their errors. They were dealing with the incorrect Kevin Lewis. Then another Kevin Lewis came forward, and a close examination of the entries revealed that the windfall should have gone to Kevin Lewis number 2, not Kevin Lewis number 1. They were both treated fairly by the casino. Kevin Klein, senior vice president and general manager of Horseshoe Cincinnati, stated in a statement, This was our fault. As a result, in keeping with our commitment to do the right thing for our visitors, Horseshoe offered each of the guys a $1 million reward. According to the Cincinnati Business Courier, the casino will hold another $1 million drawing on September 1. You might want to go if you're Kevin Lewis or know someone who is. Number 3. Lauren Kritzer Lauren Kritzer entered a California auction room destitute and jobless, relying on disability benefits to get by. He walked out a billionaire in 77 seconds, allowing a blanket. When he found that an ancient family relic, a Navajo blanket from the 1800s that had been hanging in his closet for seven years, was actually worth $1.5 million, his life was transformed forever. And it came at the perfect time. He'd been scraping by in a hut on the outskirts of Leona Valley, California, after losing a leg in a near-fatal vehicle accident. He now has a house worth $250,000. Kritzer tells CNBC, Make It, that selling the blanket gave me a new lease on life. Indeed it did. However, that fresh lease on life brought with it a slew of new obstacles, including tax issues and family conflict. As Kritzer points out, those are some of the most serious drawbacks of a windfall. Even after receiving guidance from a CPA who worked for the auction house that sold his blanket, Kritzer was still surprised at how rapidly a large sum of money might vanish. He explains, It's not like it was 40 or 50 years ago. If I had won $1 million 50 years ago, I would have been wealthy right now. Literally wealthy. Instead, Kritzer claims he is losing roughly $10,000 a year in insurance and property taxes alone after spending the majority of his newfound money on two residences in Central California. With no other source of income now that his disability benefits have been terminated, Kritzer believes he'll have to relocate to a lower cost of living area to continue surviving on his windfall. He and his wife are now considering selling their home and relocating to Idaho, where taxes and living costs are lower. Number 2. Arthur Fry When his bookmark kept sliding out of his book and he kept missing the specific page he had marked for future reading, American physicist Arthur Fry became agitated, as did many of us. As a scientist, he envisioned a page with an adhesive sticker, and it was then he remembered the one-of-a-kind adhesive found by another scientist, Spencer Silver. Soon after, he got to work on it, and seven years later, his post-it note was released worldwide. It is now widely used worldwide, making Fry a wealthy man who is currently enjoying his retirement in style. Number 1. George de Mestral George de Mestrel was a Swiss engineer who, like any other person, struggled to remove mountain thistle blossoms from his pants. He was curious about what makes the grip so strong, so he examined the bloom under a microscope and discovered numerous little hooks, much to his surprise. Velcro was born when he decided to invent a new attaching technique. His product was a big hit throughout Europe. In Switzerland, he obtained a patent for his device. Velcro gained popularity after NASA astronauts began using it in their spacesuits. Mestrel squandered his Swiss factory royalties and revenues for more than 30 years. 
those willing to put in the effort are rewarded with good fortune. Maybe. On the other hand, nature has its way of dealing with human notions. Many unexplained, unintended discoveries have resulted in wealth creation, leading us to conclude that stars do play their games. Well, this brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. We will see you soon in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye!